Rocky skies and some thunderstorms over the region. And again, you may be surprised at where that smoke is coming from. It's starting to envelop most of the uh, western half of the United States, the northwest especially. It's smoke from fires burning in Siberia, Russia. Massive wildfires there in northern Russia. And that smoke's getting trapped in the mid to upper levels of the atmosphere and the troposphere. And the jet stream and all the uh, prevailing winds bringing that stuff right in from the northwest. And we're going to be stuck with probably some poor air quality here for some time. But uh, really, just kind of an interesting weather scenario here. Warm conditions outside. Highs right now into the 70s. Beautiful temperature-wise, not so much uh, scenic-wise with all this smoke and this thunderstorm activity. We are getting some moisture across central Idaho. I've been tracking thunderstorms here coming across Lemhi, Butte, and Custer County. And we're seeing quite a bit of lightning also, especially with a thunder cell just south of Salmon moving back into the Lemhi Valley. You're also getting some scattered storms coming in here from around Custer County there, just outside the Ellison May area. We're looking for more of these thunderstorms with us here over the next couple of days. This unsettled pattern is with us. Moisture coming in here from the south tonight through tomorrow. And then we have this area of low pressure in the Gulf of Alaska. And all this moisture trailing on the south side of that low, that's going to be moving in here for your Friday and Saturday with some cooler temperatures on the move as well. So let's go right over to Vipercast, 10 o'clock tonight, putting this into motion. And I'm going to freeze the clock tomorrow morning. Partly the mostly cloudy conditions at around 9 o'clock, and we could even see a few isolated storms in for the late morning tomorrow. Passing thunderstorms tomorrow, Thursday here around 2 o'clock. So, just when the kids are starting to come home from school, we're looking for scattered thunderstorms really starting to develop over the region and pushing into the high country. Friday morning, things are pretty quiet here. Then, more scattered storms come in for Friday afternoon, and then again on Saturday. Saturday morning's quiet, and then Saturday afternoon, here comes the scattered storms into the region just to hit a smack dab right in the middle of our Saturday night evening dinner. 42 in Blackwood tonight with highs into the upper 60s for Idaho Falls and Blackwood, mid 60s in Burley in the upper 60s at the site tomorrow. We're hitting 69 in Chow, 61 in Stanley with 70 in Salmon, around 67 for Rexburg, 60 in Jackson Hole, and the same for Driggs with 59 in Island Park. Southeastern Idaho, 66 in Preston with a 63 in Lava Hot Springs. The eight-day forecast, yeah, it's kind of a wicked ride here as we head into the weekend. And we're looking for those scattered thunderstorms along with some strong wind gusts and dropping temperatures, upper 50s, lower 60s here for your Friday and Saturday. Drier weather sets in for next week with some windy conditions on Sunday and Monday. We'll go to Pocatello, your eight-day forecast here, showing highs here near 70 tomorrow, but we'll be near 60 for Friday and Saturday with those scattered storms. Pocatello for Sunday, a high of 58, and windy conditions to get us into next week. Rexburg, you're looking at highs here pushing into the upper 60s to lower 60s from Thursday to Friday. So we go from near 70 for Thursday down to the lower 60s on Friday, mid 50s on Sunday. Blackfoot, you're also looking at those scattered storms here to get us into Friday and Saturday, most of which hitting us Saturday afternoon and into the evening hours to get into the weekend. So most of your Saturday morning should stay dry but windy if you have to get out for Saturday morning. Sunday, drier conditions. Salmon highs here around 70 for tomorrow, 60 though on Friday. Scattered storms to get us into the weekend with highs into the mid to upper 50s for your Saturday and Sunday. Drier conditions next week. Jackson Hole and Island Park, you're looking at highs here near 60 for Friday, but near 50 on Saturday with those scattered storms, possibly even some early morning snow on Sunday. Carol, Jay. Thank you.